a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastofwar.com. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of War Hub. Take command of elves, dwarves and orcs in this game of masked fantasy combat on beastofwar.com. Hi guys, welcome to What's in the Box. Myself and John are having a look at more Relic Knights. Mm -hmm. And we're actually having a look at a Relic Knight this time. Yes! <laughs> so uh, this is one shot for the Black Diamond. Mm -hmm. right? Important thing to note, there are two levels of Knight currently in the game. You have your yep. Questing Knight, which is, you know, they're on the, the smaller base, their Cypher has appeared to them and they're just going, Yay, let's go adventure! Yeah, some of them, like when I've been reading through the rule book, some of them are like, you know, the Cypher has appeared but I'm not too sure what the heck it wants. You know, like yeah. um, some of the Cersei Speed uh, circuit one, um, Princess I, Interface. Uh, oh, I know the one you're on about. We'll, we'll unbox her eventually. Yeah, we will eventually. Uh, but yeah, her cipher is actually a little bunny. It's hilarious. Named Mr. Tom. Yes, it's hilarious. This one is called Fritz. Fritz. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fritz is hilarious. I'm expecting every design trope you can for a character named Fritz. Yeah, totally. Uh, well, well, we'll actually show you the box because yep. this is a Relic Knight, as I said, and when they become a Relic Knight, they generally get a Big Mac. Which is a Relic. Which yes. is what, that's what they refer to, hence Relic Knights. That is yes. their Relic. Yes, which is sort of semi-sentient. It is. Quite cool. it, from what I've read, it is a sentient machine. Mm. Um, which is friggin' badass because... <laughs> What you what you get the what you get the chance to do is because it looks like a piloted machine. Yeah, you can you know usually put them in a place where they're piloting it, or in some of them who have an alternative pose, oh. which we'll be looking at at some point. Um, you can just mount them anywhere on the model and have them <laughs> looking amazing while the relic <laughs> while the actual relic is doing all its things. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, we'll have a quick look at the cards first. So say hello to Fritz. Fritz is hilarious. Look at him. He's got a little German helmet and everything. <laughs> and a little tiny MP40. Is it? No, it's a wall for P38, clearly. Um, <laughs> and then have one shot, of course. Yes. Now, important thing to note, because he's a cipher, he cannot be killed in-game. Yeah. Uh, for one shot herself, uh, decent movement, uh, not so great on fighting, amazing shooting, Yes. really crap on magic, and good armor. She can hold six Esper, this is important, because the knights actually get an extra ability because they have the relic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll start with Fritz, though. It's actually a Luger he has. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cypher, push three and knock back. Push three is interesting, mm -hmm. because it actually lets you push people around the battlefield, and you can push them into walls where they'll take damage. <laughs> so it's just him firing the Luger going, ah! <clears throat> or doing something awesome like force push or something like, <laughs> you know, like, get away from me. And... Yeah. Uh, he also has covering fire, which is an AOE debuff. Now, the important thing in this game, there are no ranges. Yeah. If I can see it, I can place it there. Yeah. What this does, models in the area may not guard. So right. that means no defences. Mm -hmm. Which is lovely. Uh, he's also got his Channel Asper and he's an Asper Master. Mm -hmm. uh, the Channel Asper is useful because every time you activate him, he'll gain an Asper, mm -hmm. right? Just, just for activating. Yep. With Channel Asper, he can use his action to pass that Asper to his Knight. Mm -hmm. So that she gains a Held Asper, right. which is very useful. One shot herself. Because she's a Relic Knight, she has a bigger card. Mm -hmm. So, let's have a look at the card. Uh, there's a lot of abilities on here, but this is the new bit up here, this very first thing. Yep. So, I'll read it out. Uh, Asper Rounds. Increase the damage of all ranged attacks made by one shots by the value shown. So, for holding one Asper, her damage goes up by one. Mm -hmm. If she goes all the way to holding six Asper, mm -hmm. damage up by four. Right. So it's, it's sort of a, you know, she's holding the power onto herself and it's just really overcharging the gun. Yeah. Uh, she's got a focus, focus shot for damage 6. You can increase it to damage 8. You can give it piercing 2. Mm -hmm. She has Daystar Blast, which is damage 8 line, which is lovely. And you can actually give it, because of this little symbol here, it's an overcharged attack. Mm -hmm. Which means the only thing that can defend it is an overcharged defense. Now, I'm not sure if I'm using the exact right term, mm -hmm. but it's basically her mega shot, her big yep. anime attack where she's calling the name of it beforehand. Yeah. Uh, she then has Blast Shield, which is... Uh, oh, I'm actually... Oh, it's a, a reaction, so mm -hmm. it's giving her a defense and you can give it that overcharge. Mm -hmm. uh, she's got a few other ones here, but 
you can get the miniature yourself and actually go through it and actually play with it on the tabletop. Yeah. Components. Components, right. We'll start with the relic. Yeah. Um, so we have legs. Yeah. And hip joint. Are the design for this is actually slightly different to what you've we've seen for the black diamond so far. Because mm -hmm. uh, most of their stuff, it's quite sleek. This is quite the brutal looking mech. Yeah. You know, because it's got lots of hard edge lines on it and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, if you give me the upper torso, because the theme actually continues on through that. Yep. So that's the front and so the main torso. The front armor plate is quite similar to an upscaled sort of uh, black dragon armor. Yep. But the actual pilot seat is this. Mm -hmm. And this is very, very cool looking. Now, I'm not sure where the front or where the back is it's, yet. Uh, the front I is... That's the front? Yeah, that's the front. So it, it's even got a smaller cannon here, is it? Or no, is that no, the, the, those, those are all um, gubbins, gubbins, so to speak. Yes. Gubbins. Okay, bits and gubbins. Mm -hmm. Bits and gubbins. Okay, uh, we then have this. What is this? Um, I believe that's a lower part for the hip joint. Ah, right, so this is a connector part for the yes. wrist? Yes, yes. Okay, give me the gun. All right, you want the gun? Give me the gun. Okay, have the gun. Because when I was talking to John from uh, Ninja Division, this actually used to be an artillery piece. <laughs> so in the middle of a battle was where she actually discovered her, her relic. Mm -hmm. And it was this artillery piece. And whenever she discovered it, it actually changed from a, an artillery piece into her mech. Yeah. So you, we've continued that, that anime sort of theme of, my relic appears. Yeah. I could imagine it being a sort of looking at the gun going, I have a strange connection to this. I'm walking over and touching it, and it just forming up into the mech and going, well, oh. We still have to get to that part in the story, because between myself and John, we are reading the backstory a lot. Yep. But I think it's more along the lines of, it's a high-pressure situation where I need some help here. I need something to save me. Yep. Lays the hand to the, the artillery piece, transforms, and there's this big gleaming mech standing in front of her mm -hmm. that she then jumps onto and then kicks everyone's ass. Yep. And Fritz looks at it and goes, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fritz look at, looks at it and goes, mm, efficient. <laughs> it's about time you turned up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, what else so do I have here? We have two arms for the um, Mac as well. Okay. So, oh. one of these arms does not look like the other. Yeah, because you have this arm that you're holding, which yep. goes on the other side of the gun. Oh, I see. Uh, and then you have the, the larger, bulkier arm, which goes on the other side of the body. Okay. So... This is a strong hand. Uh, yeah. Uh, right, so next we have a couple other bits and pieces. We have some I bits for the controls. And controls, yeah. And a couple of extra little bits of armor, yep. perhaps. Do you know what I find really interesting about this model? What? It's on the next part. Okay. It has motorbike handlebars for the pilot. Hell yeah! It even has like a what looks like a little fuel tank. I like that a lot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it has a very odd style. There's a couple yeah. of extra armor plates there as well. Yeah, of course. Now, characters. Yep, go ahead. Uh, so we Pass have out. one shot herself. Yeah. He has a single piece model, and I'm really liking that. Yeah. I dig the pose. I really yeah. love the pose. Because it is her climbing up onto the mat. Well, it's it's her, when you look at the um, the box art, it's actually her like holding the underside of the barrel of the main gun, mm -hmm. uh, and sort of just looking over as if to say, I'm about to mess your day up, to say it politely. It, it, it's, it's okay, Relic, like, just... Aim a little higher, a little, little, little higher, little higher, there we go, fire. A little, little higher, that guy's offending me, <laughs> that guy said my hair isn't nice, Oof. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then we have Fritz. And Fritz. He is absolutely tiny, so I'm, not, tiny. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see him too well, yep. but here he is. He is tiny and adorable. Uh, every relic, or every cipher is adorable. He's standing on a little skull. Yes, <laughs> well, he's resting his gun on a little skull, I think. <laughs> it's like the gun's too heavy he's for He's ridiculously him. cute. Yeah, definitely. Uh, right, I tell you what, John, I want this built. Yes, sir. So, uh, we'll take a break, we'll be right back with the built relic night. How was the build, John? Easy. Easy? Very easy and very nice as well, but, I mean, look at the end result. Oh. That's beautiful. She is so cool. Yeah, uh, I now see what you mean about the, the other arm. Yeah. Yeah, I think the other arm is like a reloading arm or something. Yeah, I'm perhaps something sure. to rack the slide. I don't think there's a slide on that gun. Ah, fair enough. I think that's a big power core sticking out of it or something. All right. Uh, gubbins, more gubbins. More gubbins and stuff, yes. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's, it's beautiful once it goes together. I think mm -hmm. I would perhaps paint one shot off the miniature. Just because yes. I think it might be a little bit awkward to get in beneath in certain points. Yes, you, you kind of want to paint the whole cockpit area before you stick the actual figure in. And yeah. While you have the figure off the model, you may as well paint her as well. Yeah, and then we now have Fritz, 
who's on his base. Fritz, who is still remarkably tiny and still remarkably adorable. Yeah, but I'm able to actually show him a little better now that he's off. Yeah. Uh, or like he's on his base. Yeah. Because I can hold it like this and turn it. He's incredibly cute. He is. He really is. But this is such a nice looking model. It was one of the first models I actually seen for the, the Relic Knights range and I just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. Ah, now, one thing I notice. One shot has a cadre ability. So mm -hmm. if I'm right, I believe that gives it to the rest of her force, right. which is coordinated fire. Okay, so you've mentioned coordinated fire to me before, but explain yeah. again. Uh, right. For, say, one shot, shot someone. Mm -hmm. Any other unit that has coordinated fire that's in line of sight of the target. Yep. Draws one, uh, the target then draws one less uh, defense card mm -hmm. because of that. Is that per unit that shoots at it? I'm not sure. I need to read up on that. Because if that was a stacking ability and you had a it, fair amount of your force. It could be very painful. Yeah. It could be very painful. Especially if she has actually got a lot of held Esper on her. Yeah. And she fires the big shot. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, uh, I think overall, what I would take with her on the battlefield, I would throw in some black diamonds. Or Black Dragons. Black Dragons, yeah. Uh, Diamond Core, definitely. Yep. There's a, a little battle tank you can get with these as well, which is very useful. Mm -hmm. And you actually get the diamond back too, which is a big nasty Huge mech that we haven't looked yeah. at just yet. So stay tuned for that because mm -hmm. it's it's a beautiful miniature. Uh, right, final thoughts. Very cool miniature. Yes. I love the pose. I love the sculpt. Yes. I think she's going to be very useful in game. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? I think it's going to be a fantastic model to paint. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very nice challenge for some of the paint. In fact, most of the Relic Knights in the range are a painting challenge mm. because you have all the other infantry and stuff. And you're like, yeah, I know how to do this. And then you look at the Relic Knight and go, I need to think about this more because there's I, a lot more to them. I, but it, it makes you want to throw in that extra effort. Mm -hmm. you know? All right, well, guys, drop us a comment below. Tell us what you think. Do you like One Shot? Are you loving the Black Diamond faction? Uh, we'll move on here. We'll see you in the next video. Humanity has been driven from Earth, but now it's time to take it back. Join the Reconquest and fight the Scourge on the Drop Zone Commander Hub at BeastsOfWar.com. It's time for 28mm World War II action. Will you recreate history or reshape it your way? On the Bolt Action Hub at BeastsOfWar.com.